Hello and welcome, this is ShipMac here. Had somebody in the Discord server for the H145 discussion wanting to know how to switch the audio and transponder panels on their Garmin GTN 750. So I'm going to go through that. I'm also going to go through uh, some other options that you have for configuration of your Garmin's. All right, so specifically what he was talking about is he wanted this right here to be displayed over here and this to be displayed over here. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to come right down in here to system on both screens. You're going to go to setup on both screens. You're going to go to options on both screens. Now, I'll be 100% honest. I don't know if you can do this with the standard version of this or if you have to purchase the upgraded version. I have purchased the upgraded version, so I wouldn't know the difference. Um, but there's your disclaimer. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these messages because I can't stand that thing blinking at me it just drives me nuts so you're gonna scroll right on down here until you get right here to this button All right and I'm gonna come on down to that on this one so you'll notice as I click it it's gonna change what's going on up here so you can cycle through to where you have nothing up there which means now you can choose what is up there and I'll show you how to do that in a minute transponder only means the transponder is there but you still got some choices on how you want to configure this audio only obviously switches the two and then audio and transponder so he wanted none on the left side and transponder and audio on the right side so that's going to allow you to switch which channel your mic is uh is broadcasting on so this mic right here one means that I'll be uh, broadcasting when I key the mic on COM1 and monitoring COM1 I'll be listening to COM1 in my headset if I click that I can say I want to monitor or listen to COM1 and to both at the same time so whatever's over here in this COM2 will be also in my headset I can't listen to two only if one is active but if I switch the mic to two now I can monitor two and I can say I don't want to monitor one so that's that's your options there on how you want to do that all right so like I said I want to show you how to set this up now like I said before uh, you if you're on transponder only you can only configure these if you're on audio only you can only configure these if you transponder and audio you will notice as I come back out, user fields is is not uh, is disabled. I can't I can't do anything with that. So I have to come back in here, and I'm going to switch that to none, so that I can come back out here to the user fields. And now we'll notice that if I come in here, I can change what I want. So um, I tell you what, let's just go to. Let's go ahead. Uh, I've already got my fuel plant. Let's go nearest airport. So that's something that I would would fairly regularly use. And then all of these you can change out with uh, what you want. So if you if there's some other function or some other page that you would like to be able to access uh, with a with a quick press, uh, then you can select that. Uh, the data uh, there's some good data in here that you can use. Um, Let's go, do I have, yeah, we have ETE, but let's go ETA. So ETA over ETE, ground speed and track. Let's go desired track on that so that I can see my actual track and my desired track. Um, so desired track and track. And what that's gonna allow me to do is if I pick a nearest airport, obviously not going to pick the one that I'm at, but if I pick this one, and I go ahead and load it in now I'm gonna have a desired track right there and then as I fly I can I can kinda of see what my actual track needs to be in order to fly uh, to that um, ETA and ETE will not become active until I start flying because right now I'm not moving so obviously it can't figure out uh, what I need to do for that so here let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna go VFR uh, we're going to turn it on. We're going to do uh, VFR in uh, full mode C. So everything's up and running. And there we go. So I'm going to come back out. And I think his configuration that he had on here, that he, specifically his screenshot, was map and flight plan. So that was, that was it. Now I'm not actually going to fly this flight plan because I don't want to. Um, 
I really don't even need to fly right now. I've, I've done, I've showed you what I wanted to show you. Uh, but I do want to see here if this arch, I found an arch. It's been looking for some cool arches to fly under. And so let's go see if this arch is actually modeled in the simulation. So I'm just going to kind of, we're going to be a little bit crazy here and we're going to wee-haw. bring the power to it and just give her the beans beautiful countryside here <clears throat> that is actually the river that I want so I better lower that power because I'm going a little bit too fast to uh, to dive down into the river like I want to we're gonna bring it down to about four and a half FLI that should put me at about 80 knots uh, unfamiliar territory and pretty unforgiving terrain right around this river so I think uh, I think 80 knots should do me pretty well and we're just gonna, just gonna crawl down in this thing and have some fun Now you'll notice I'm holding my force stream release. Uh, if you watch any of my other videos, I preach that like crazy. The other thing that I'm gonna preach is when I am uh, NOE like this, I am not messing with my collective. I'm gonna let the airspeed be whatever it is at whatever power setting, and I may actually drop that down to four FLI. Uh, yeah, I'm going to, because that speed doesn't look like it's gonna come down below 100. So uh, let's see that, where that settles us out. And I think, uh, honestly, 100 knots feels pretty good well for this section of the river let's see what we have ahead of us definitely don't want to be clipping any trees ah uh, that's a bridge not gonna make it under that one for sure uh, but that is not the arch that's not the one i'm looking for that's gonna be a little further up Ooh, i don't think i'm gonna make it between those trees right there Now we're starting to, yep, maybe uh, 100 knots is looking like it might have been a little bit fast, but now we're down in that 80 knot range that I was actually looking for. So, I'll call that, I'll call 4 FLI pretty good, and somehow I have crept up, maybe I never made it down to 4 FLI. I've crept up above it just a little bit. Ooh, this can get tight right here. Yee-haw. Don't settle. Do not settle. So cruising right along. Here's another pretty. Nah, it's not terribly tight. Yep, it's tight. Oh, gotta let my hand rest for a second. Boy, this is a. I'm going to end up in the trees. I'm calling it now. I am going to smack something with this. And I think, yep, this would be the arch right here. So let's see if I can... Let me just make sure. Yeah, that's that field. Which means this is the arch that I was looking for. So clearly... Uh, not going to be able to fly under that. Yeah. So I tell you what, let's come on down here. Uh, we'll engage the auto hover. But I didn't know. There we go. And then we'll just drop right. Nope, wrong one. Right here. We're going to go back flight plan we're gonna hit this back up again I'm gonna snap a new direct enter gonna go back ah, I'll tell you what let's let's uh let's go with some terrain here oh yeah nice and red very very nice and red and we'll just go ahead and bring the same thing up on our age taws here 
and that's going to let me know that uh, it doesn't like what I'm doing. So here we go. We're going to turn back around. We'll dive back down in the river, and then... Oh, I screwed that. Yep, I screwed that up pretty bad, but you get the idea. So, uh, y'all have a good day.